Okay, I'm going to show you how to take this pallet apart um, just using one hammer. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty big pallet, uh, not your standard size, and you can see also it has um, four runners instead of three uh, that you usually have on the smaller ones. But, um, you know, I made a couple tools to help me take it apart. Um, and I can probably do it, I'm, I don't know, I've never timed myself, but I can probably do it in under, I don't know, maybe five or six minutes. So we'll give it a try, uh, put a timer on it. Um, but before we do that, um, I want to show you some of the tools that I use um, to get this done. Um, basically, I just use a, a um, five pound sledgehammer, or actually four pound sledgehammer. Um, and I'm gonna move the camera here and show you real quick. Okay, over here. Yeah, it's actually a four pound hammer right here. Um, and that's really all you need. But there are a couple other things that I made uh, to help me take it apart quickly. Um, now it's not easy but it is pretty fast uh, once you get the hang of it. So um, I've got two things here. Uh, these right here uh, that are on camera right now, um, these are one set, um, so you'll use these at the same time. And basically what it is is the uh, two by fours from the runners on the pallet, and they're cut at about um, nine inches in length, um, actually about nine and a quarter in length. Um, and you just basically make uh, like a T. And what I've done is I've just uh, found the center point, put some glue at the end, and then put a few screws in the bottom. So, you know, pretty simple to make. Um, and if you have a, a pallet already taken apart, you can use uh, the uh, runners, or you can just use a regular two by four and cut it down to size. But again, this is nine inches, nine and a quarter. Um, and the reason for that is just so it, uh, for a lot of the pallets that I take apart, they have uh, four runners. Uh, and in order to get this, this goes in between the runners. So um, it has to be uh, probably less than 10 inches. So I make these are just nine, nine and a quarter, somewhere around there. It doesn't have to be exact. And then um, these pieces right here, um, uh, let's see, those are nine and a quarter also, but I'm not sure, let me just check. The, um, they're a little bit less than two inches. So you wanna go, I'd say about two inches, not too much uh, lower than that, because these are gonna sit on top here and elevate the pallet so that you can uh, uh, pound out the nails. So that's how it's going to look once I set it up on the pallet. And the same thing with these. They're going to be used at the same time, um, one on each side. And um, uh, these two right here are only going to be used to take the, uh, the bottom uh, pieces off, the uh, uh, bottom decking of the pallet. Um, and they're on this pallet that I'm going to take apart. There are four of those, so uh, it shouldn't take long. You won't. You'll only use these for the for the bottom um, uh, um, decking, and I'll show you the reason for that um, once I get to the pallet. And the other thing uh, that I'm going to use, and this is to take the rest of the boards off the the top of the the top deck of the the pallet. And again, these are, um, you can get by with just using one. Um, again, these are nine, nine and a quarter. These are also nine and a quarter. And I think these are a little bit less than two inches. Um, maybe, um, let me just check real quick. I mean, none of this has to be exact. You just want to make sure that you can clear. These are an inch and a half. So you just want to make sure you can clear the, uh, the runners on the pallet. Otherwise, you won't be able to fit those in. And you'll see uh, what I mean once I, uh, again, once I get this set up. So um, 
you can actually you can get by with just one of these and one of these. It will just take a little bit longer. I'm actually going to use uh, four of these, and I think if you have a set, two sets of these, that should be enough. Because you're just going to again use these right here for the um, the bottom uh, decking of the pallet. Um, but for this, uh, you can get by with one. If you take a lot of pallets apart, you can. I use four. Uh, you can make as many as you want, and um, if you have the room to store it, uh, yeah, go. I'd say go for it. But um, you know, you can get by with one if you don't take that many apart. I find that four works best for me, so um, that's what I'm going to use today. Um, and these again are pretty sim <coughs> simple to make. Excuse me. Um, basically, what I did is I just put a dab of glue down here, set this across, uh, I did a countersink here, and drove a three inch screw through there. And also, I put some nails in there um, just to kind of tack it into place until I got the screws in. And, uh, and they, yeah, they're pretty strong. This is hardwood, so. Um, uh, they're, they're pretty sturdy and should last a while. Okay, I'm gonna set up the camera now and uh, go ahead and start taking the pallet apart. Uh, so we'll move back over here. And I've also got a timer. I'm gonna put a timer on it just to see how fast. I've never timed myself, but I was gonna see how fast I can get through this. Uh, I'm hoping it's under five minutes. Um, you know, it may be eight minutes. I'm, I'm not sure. Somewhere around there. But anyway, um, let me just uh, kind of set up the pallet first and then uh, we'll get going here. So there you go. Now I'm going to bring the camera over here just to give you a closer look. See how that looks down here. So that's that's kind of how it looks. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to take that sledgehammer and I'm going to pound on the runners, each one of these runners, and that'll uh, pop the the, uh, the nails out, and uh, that um, that bottom decking um, will will be removed. So um, let me go um, put the camera back, and I'll get going on that. So there are four of those. So I'm going to take those four out first. And then um, I'll set up for the um, for the top uh, decking. Okay, I also have a timer over here. I'm going to start that. And I'm going to try to move pretty fast, so I won't be able to do a lot of talking while I'm doing this. But uh, you'll see. Um, 
um, how it's done. Um, and um, here we go. I'm going to start the timer and actually the timer will have a little bit of a head start. There you go. Okay. So I just like to get my weight on it too. And then um, I just want to move your, you want to move these to the next uh, bottom piece of wood or decking, whatever, and do the same thing. So basically, I'm going to just keep moving this down and take each one of those off. Those bottom pieces are off. I'm going to stop it here for a second. So you have two minutes. And like I said, it's not the easiest thing, but it's pretty fast. So we got uh, two minutes, 10 seconds so far now. So I'm going to explain what to do on the next step. So these we are done with these. Oh, we are done. So get these out of the way. Then I'm going to show you on. So what you want to do now is flip the the um, pallet. And then, uh, like I said, I had four of these. So we're going to use these, um, basically just going to set these in here, one on each end. Um, actually, we're going to do, uh, since I have four, we're going to do right next to each other. Now I'll show you. Bring the camera over here and show you how that's set up. Okay, so there you go. Um, so basically what's going to happen is I'm going to take the, the first and third one off and then move those down and just go down down the line until they're all out. So. Um, Set this back here. Okay. Okay, um, still going. Okay, so we restart it now and then we'll go from there. So we're at 210, I get about um, um, two minutes, 50 seconds to finish this up. So here we go.
goat. 437. Oh. So, let me just walk the camera over here. Do you see the boards too? You can see most of them. Actually, almost all. None, none of these boards are really cracked. Cracks were already in there. No splintered wood. Um, and there you have it. Actually, now the the part that takes the longest now is just getting the nails out. But um, it's pretty easy because the nails. You notice they they're pretty straight when they come out, so you don't have to you know hammer them in hammer them to get them straight to get them out. Um, so what I usually do, I'll just show you real quick, is um, just take a regular claw hammer. On him. Helps if you have a workbench too. So there you go, that's it. Uh, what I like to do also once I get the boards, if I'm not gonna use, use them right away or make something out of them, I like to kind of wrap them in plastic just to keep them uh, kind of all together and um, prevent them from warping. Um, so that's how I usually store uh, any pallet wood that I have. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you. Uh, or if you want to know exactly how to make uh, these or those right there, I'd be happy to help. So just send me a comment uh, and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Later.